All right, in this scene, we're gonna talk about prednisone and other oral corticosteroids. So we have the prairie dog over here, the father with his son. Prairie dog with son for prednisone. I know it's a stretch, but it's memorable. Okay, and so this mouth over here is gonna remind us that we're talking about the oral corticosteroids as opposed to the inhaled ones. The oral corticosteroids have lots more systemic adverse effects associated with them, which we'll discuss. But first, let's talk about the mechanism. So the prairie dogs were praying that these guys explode. Who are these guys? So here we have the fossils with lips. The fossils with lips for phospholipase, phospholipase A. Prednisone and other corticosteroids inhibit the action of phospholipase A2. Phospholipase A2 is responsible for extracting arachidonic acid from the cell membrane, from the lipid bilayer. And from that, it leads to the production of leukotrienes and prostaglandins. So since corticosteroids block the action of phospholipase A2, it will block the production of, of prostaglandins and leukotrienes. And over here, we have the guy with the Nerf gun. The Nerf gun with the cap. The cap with the B. Nerf gun cap B for NF kappa B. Corticosteroids also block the production of NF kappa B, which is important for cytokine production. Primarily TNF alpha, represented by the tuna fish elephant over here. So prednisone and other corticosteroids will prevent the production of lots of cytokines, including TNF alpha. Okay, now that we've spoken about method of action, let's talk about the adverse effects. There are lots. And we'll begin with this moon exploding on top of the scene to help us remember the immunosuppression. Of course, with the decreased cytokine production, there will be lots of immunosuppression. It is for this reason that patients taking prednisone should not be given live vaccines, as they may contract the illness. But let's talk about other symptoms. So the prairie dogs don't realize, but there are these two lab skeletons in the room. And these two lab skeletons are going to remind us of the other adverse effects of prednisone and other oral corticosteroids. So let's take a look at this one over here. This skeleton over here actually has a small little cataract in his eye. That reminds us of the cataracts. Patients develop cataracts and other visual impairments with long-term prednisone use. This occurs because of increased production of free radicals along with high osmotic movement of glucose in the lens of the eye. Over here we note in his tummy, the Pepsi. The Pepsi reminds us of the peptic ulcers. Peptic ulcers is another side effect of prednisone and other corticosteroid use. Thus, patients with a history of ulcer disease should not take these oral medications long-term. On the floor over here, we notice these dyed beads to remind us of diabetes. And we also note his femur exploding. This reminds us of the avascular necrosis of the femur seen with prednisone use. Let's take a look at this skeleton over here. This skeleton is actually standing on top of a cushion to remind us of Cushing syndrome. Excess glucocorticoid intake can lead to Cushing syndrome characterized by rapid weight gain, central obesity, moon faces, buffalo hump, and abdominal striae. We also note the skeleton himself doesn't have a head but actually has roses. He's the osteo with roses for osteoporosis. Prednisone can lead to steroid-induced osteoporosis with long-term use. Actually, for this reason, patients are recommended prophylactic calcium and vitamin D. We also note the candy over here, the candy that's high, or the sugar that's high, to remind us of the hyperglycemia. These medications alter glucose metabolism in the body, and that's why a patient can develop hyperglycemia. And we'll end off with this brain over here, who sang, Amen! To remind us of two things, one, for the psychotic brain, for psychosis, and two, for the amen, to remind us of amenorrhea. These are two more side effects seen with oral glucocorticoids. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on oral corticosteroids. Please subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.